getting some mobilisation into all of our joints. The project is about working with older people in Cheviot and Tweeddale and Berwickshire communities um, looking to try and identify the kinds of activities that people would enjoy becoming involved in. So we're trying to support older people to take uh, control themselves of some of the things that they want to see running locally. Um, so whether it's physical activity, um, craft work, and maybe reminiscence groups, um, the kind of things that people say themselves that they would like to be involved in. It had been identified earlier that there would be many older people living fairly isolated and lonely existences. So if, if, if a group such as ourselves could engage with people, um, that we might be able to enable people to be more socially connected. Part of our work probably too is identifying um, where people can take more physical exercise and perhaps reduce their likelihood of experiencing falls and hospital admissions. So some of the activities that we've been supporting have been things like gentle exercise and dance classes. We've also been able to engage with young people in volunteering so that uh, we can have a mix of generations and younger people supporting older people. Um, part of that is a garden support project that obviously we're, we're very pleased with. and we twirl our hips <laughs> and we have a good laugh. Forward. Palm up. You all right, Betty? Is she not you? Step and clap. Fun. <laughs> Lots of exercise. For a while there, I, I used to go to a keep fit class and it folded up and I missed it. And I've only been coming down now for three weeks and having good fun, good laugh. <laughs> Enjoying it, every minute of it. Well done. Oh, the concentration on your faces. <laughs> you hear all these stories of old people falling all the time and, you know, like injuring themselves. And this is what I'm hoping is going to help prevent that you know um because i mean it helps the coordination the balance the concentration because their brains having to work as well as the you know when we're moving arms in a different way to feet and things like that they're having to really think about it delicious, delicious. it helps my coordination because <laughs> right leg left arm no no both the same no, I get the, the coordination and the exercises are good, yeah. Like this morning, Carol, bless her, she was shaking her hips like a good one, you know, and that would never have happened. Um, you know, and just to see them being able to move more is just so lovely. From speaking to the older people, it wasn't so much the, the coffee mornings or the, the sit-down lunch that things that they wanted, it was more being active and being kept active, um, being stimulated. So this is where the idea of starting up the gentle exercise um, came about initially. There we go. Well, actually, it, it makes you stuffle, you know, that, um, and it keeps you going because um, you're beginning to stiffen up in one thing or another and this really does help you, your hips and everything like that. You feel so much better for uh, for having done it and, you know, meeting different people. I mean, I once I met a lady from Glasgow or, uh, you know, and it really, really is good and it helps because as we're getting older, we're getting a lot stiffer and it really does help. And after you've been coming a while, the tunes become catchy and you're singing them at home so you can dance around in front of the mirror at home and do them. <laughs>
It's great. If you come and you're down, you go out on a high. Ready to eat some sugars? like talking to people and this was kind of the best option and I just moved here and I wanted to be a pro like here wait what one that one wait. <laughs> I wanted to be a part and help and I just thought this was the best idea what we decided to do was go around three of the main sheltered housing complexes within Peebles and offer some arts and crafts activities. We're doing this as a four, five week block um, initially and one of the main reasons that we're doing it is to encourage people to come down and meet in the common room you know, engage in activities, but we've also got the started up the intergenerational project, which is involving the six year pupils at the local high school, and they've come down today to lend a hand and offer some support to the older people as well. I'm enjoying it there because I've always liked handcraft, you know, <coughs> but I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> Actually, there's one part in there that's still quite good. Fingers. Oh. Apart from that film. But, yeah. We don't really have anything planned. And yeah, we just kind of yeah. ask them and what they want to do, we're going to do. It's such more fun. Well, I'm wanting cards and put flowers in them for Christmas. That's more up that street. I wait, Matt. They're obviously getting to engage with the older people and offering the support of just a helping hand, but also one of the main things and probably the most important thing of just having somebody to listen to and talk to um, and share their kind of life experiences. There was one girl who came in earlier and I don't think she's actually helped with the weaving yet. She's just been busy chatting to one of the gentlemen and finding out about his past and, and that for somebody, I think for an older person, just to speak to a younger person and exchange these kind of life stories is, is really, really nice. When I first came to Peebles, so I remember a lady saying to me, um, there's only one thing missing in Peebles, and I said, well, tell me what that is. And she says, it's enough time to be able to go to everything. But when I was going out and I was speaking to the already existing groups, they were saying, you know, there's, there's coffee mornings, there's lunch clubs. So I, I didn't want to tap into that because they're already there. I wanted to do something different. And when I went out initially and started speaking to the, the already happening groups and said, how would you feel about some sort of you know, dancing and variation dance class? Everybody just seemed really keen for it. And I think that's how all the projects have come about. It's, it's really finding out what, you know, having to do your market research first and finding out what it is that people want and basing it around that as opposed to just plucking an idea out of the, the air and thinking, oh, I'll try this and see if it works. We say it's for the over 50s, but we're not strict on that. Uh, we've got some people coming with uh, special needs and we get them included into the, the classes and it gets them motivated as well. She loves it, absolutely loves it. I love coming as well, so it's great fun. It's not like work, brilliant. She gets ready to go, she gets dressed up, she gets her hair done and all that, and then she comes along and she sees Chalky, and um, she just loves it. She loves the interaction with other people and that. The dancing uh, teacher. Aye, he's good, isn't he? I love him. You like them, that's right. You like dancing them. I get rejuvenated. <laughs> I get more energy. <laughs> they don't know it, they're doing a routine and they're fair chuffed or they're dancing with their partner or they go out for a night out and they're able to go up and do a wee dance. I like the variety and I like the, I like the tuition. We actually go through, we, we didn't do any today, but we do some um, ballroom dancing, which I really have enjoyed very much. It's good fun. And um, yeah, watching people, you see the smiles come on. I have an expression called granny creep. Uh, as we get older uh, and, uh, and we all dance, we live a youth, you see the granny creep fall off, grandpa creep fall off. People having fun, relaxing, getting happier.
Today we're at the Social Centre in Jedburgh and um, we're here with some of the volunteers from the Jedburgh Grammar School. Well, we've helped serve lunches and check that everybody's okay and we just have a chat usually about what we're doing at school and what we're going to be doing in the future and everything as well. I think it's really good because I think they get a chance to like see young people like kind of, you know, to get on and to talk and it's good to kind of build a bridge between the age gaps and get to know each other. They're so busy. <laughs> you know, they have to come dashing round and collecting plates and being, being very useful, but very sweet at the same time. <laughs> it's also about how safe do these people feel in their homes? How do they feel about their community? Do they feel that they are part of that community? And a big part of a community is um, the schools. And if these older people can feel that actually they know people within that school, they know what's going on, they feel connected, they feel more safe in their own homes because they also know that young people aren't all thugs, that they, you know, they have a good heart as well. It helps me to move my upper body. I do <laughs> I do some walking for my legs, but it gets the rest of me moving. You meet a lot of your friends. Hi. Oh, you're safe. Right. Your age. Your age group. It's brilliant. It's good exercise and good fun. And Denise is a good laugh. We've been here since the 7th of, 7th of August um, and as you can see today, absolutely great numbers, providing gentle exercise to music um, for all ranges of older active adults. We're trying to encourage people who can only sit, so we've built in some seated exercises as well. Um, and just really trying to get people moving to music that they enjoy, um, almost kind of hiding the exercise because they're having such great fun. This is a, a great initiative because what you find is some of the leisure centres, the classes they put on for older people, really aren't tailored for them and they can't participate. They find the exercises too um, strenuous, they don't enjoy it and their friends just aren't there as well. And so really what we tried to do is get an exercise class that was gentle, that was progressive, but actually the main thing is that they have fun. And what we're finding is that not only is this amazing for their well-being, but it's their mental health as well, it's their socialising, it's getting them out of the house, um, which has been fantastic for them. I think that's the nicest part for me, um, particularly with older um, adults, hearing them saying that they can feel things improving, feel their mobility improving. Um, I'm quite often told that the biggest muscle that's exercising is this one. Uh, and I think my job is done when you hear that. And the cup and biscuit. <laughs> well, I think it's very good. They're need, we're needing something like that here. Okay. So there's nothing for older folk much. Then it helps all the old bones. You don't have the aches and pains. We're at Woodside Plant Centre today, which is in the lovely old walled garden um, just outside Ancrum. It's the former fruit garden to nearby Monteviot House. So it's currently run as um, a retail plant centre, a tea room, and we've got display gardens and working gardens here as well. So it's quite an ideal place for the youngsters to come along and have a look at a variety of, of garden styles and of, of gardening methods that need to be used. Now this is an example of the type of little garden that you might be charged with looking after. Um, this is just a little rockery um, or alpine garden which are really popular in particular people's... We have the gardening project which is two young people will go into an old, older person's home and they will help to maintain that garden. 
So perhaps the older person can't dig anymore because they've got arthritis, got a bad back. We can help to um, alleviate that, which then hopefully will stop them going into hospital, going into a care home. They can stay in their home and feel that that's not a burden. I do just want to, just to show you a, a couple of important garden tools and how to use them. This is quite obviously a fork. And this one the main challenge, I think, is that gardening is, is quite a skilled occupation that requires um, you know, a lot of background behind you. So they're going to be really limited in what skills they have gardening-wise. But actually, I think just for the, for the older people, just to have some youngsters in there, just helping them a little bit. And I also think that the older people will be able to tell the youngsters what to do, even if they're physically not capable of doing it any longer. But it, it is purely dictated to It's good to be able to do something going, to help out people and it all, I just, it kind of makes you feel good that you're helping someone and just to be able to do something for someone else really. Well, my wife is disabled, so she was at one time the gardener. I had uh, heart problems 22 years ago, which they've told me I still have. So I haven't got the energy to do the garden. And this system they have is ideal for anybody that's in the same position as I am. The older people are actually teaching the young people how to do a bit of gardening. It's not full on, it's not all the time, but every now and again you'll get a snippet of um, them coming out and just saying, can you do it this way, can, you, you know, can we show you how to do it? And it's those, um, in those moments where we have a lot of skill sharing and that's really important because it gives um, an older person the ability to realise they've still got um, skills to pass on, they've still got a capacity to, to do things in the community, which is really important. It's really good and um, we're both really enjoying it and just to meet people that you wouldn't have a chance to normally meet and get to know them a bit and um, just nice to sort of have a wee conversation with them as well and just find out a bit about them and their lives and talk to them about yours. And... Instead of Charlie's angels, the gems. <laughs> <Jim's laughs> angels. We are indeed. That's why we're here. And they're lovely to talk to, that's the thing. They're brilliant.